This is very cool. I cannot speak highly enough about this organization. Locker number 505. It is a new student's clothing bank. An organization providing appropriate school clothing to children in need throughout Bernalillo County. They are having a fashion show this weekend to raise money for the, uh, the very kids that they are already helping. Joining us this morning with more information on Locker Number 505 and the show is uh, Kim Kirshen, Executive Director of Locker Number 505, along with First Lady of Albuquerque, Maria Berry. Ladies, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, so thank before you. we talk about this big fashion show going on, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff here in a second. Kim, tell us what the mission is behind Locker Number 505. The basic mission is to clothe kids throughout Bernalillo County um, that are in need um, K through 12 so that they can go to school and not focus on the school on the clothing they can focus on what the teachers saying what's going on in the classroom they're not thinking about clothes being too big too small right. not looking correct um, and you know it's prevented even some bullying from what we found because yeah. kids are not being teased about mm -hmm. what they're wearing and one thing doesn't escalate into another yeah. and they just feel better about themselves we all do when we get a, a new outfit or yeah you know, we have clothes on that we like, we feel better about ourselves, and we do better. Yeah, you know, I think the trickle down effect is something that that a lot of folks may not think about. I know, you know, if you reflect back when we were kids in school, you know, you bring up a good point that, that clothing can affect, I mean, even bullying, you know, right. things like that can, can really cause a lot of bigger problems. You can focus on it if you're dressed well and dressed comfortably. So I think that this is very important. Um, now, uh, Maria, tell us how you and, and the mayor got involved in this. This is a, kind of a passion project of yours, that you really want to support these kids in this organization. Yes, we kind of stumbled upon it. They were one of our beneficiaries for our gala mm -hmm. about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And I went to pick up a financial from them after six months, because we require that of our beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. And I was blown away. Yeah. I just I went there. I saw these kids coming in, their heads hanging low. But when they left, they had big smiles on their faces. Mm -hmm. You could tell they did something for their self-esteem. They couldn't wait to go home and show their parents and guardians their new outfits. Yeah. It was just amazing. So I was hooked. I started volunteering. Mm -hmm. And then Mayor and myself, we decided to uh, open, uh, give them a space to mm -hmm. open up shop. That's great. That's great. So let's talk about the shopping and exactly how it works. How do you get these uh, these clothing items to the students? And it's not what we were talking about earlier. It's not a thing you say, here you go, kid, this is what you got. They can actually help. Cho they choose what they're wanting to wear. So it really almost works like a clothing store. Correct. Right. So tell us how the operation works. So basically um, from their school, whether it's an APS school or a private school or a mm -hmm. charter school, somebody from that school makes a referral. We have okay. an actual referral form that is filled out that they say this child needs to go. Mm -hmm. um, that's sent home with the child um, and then the parent or guardian or friend, whoever, can bring them to the clothing bank um, and they get to shop basically. Mm -hmm. You know, here's the store, you know, look through what we have, here's your size, what color do you like, and then they try everything on. That's great. So they, we make sure that it fits appropriately, nothing too low, nothing too high, mm -hmm. um, the, all those wonderful things, um, and um, give them new shoes if they need them, a jacket if they need them. Um, we even keep stuffed animals and books and stuff for them really? to take as well. Um, we, we frequently hear, God, this was like Christmas. Yeah. This was awesome. Yeah. You know, we, we get very wonderful, and we hear from the teachers. Different child came yeah. back to class. It really totally is amazing different how it can affect them. Absolutely. Came back into class. So now you guys have a big uh, fundraising event fashion show going on that I believe you and Mayor are emceeing. Is that right? Yes. So let's it, talk about this event. It's this Sunday, mm -hmm. September 7th, and it's from 1 to 4 at the Jewish Community Center. At the Jewish Community Center. It's okay. $20 admission, but you can spend more money when you get there because mm -hmm. there's going to be a silent auction mm -hmm. and mystery bags. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. the kids, the models, are going to be donating items. They're going to be wearing down the runway, they're going to mm -hmm. be wearing items that they're going to give to the um, clothing bank. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fantastic. So uh, again, $20, that, that just gets you in the door. But I mean, really, for, for a small amount, you're making a huge impact on a child's life. Because as we said, I mean, it's very, very important uh, to make sure that you support this organization. Now, I do believe that we've got a few clothes uh, and some of the items that you brought in, Kim and, and Maria. Let's yes. take a look at some of these. So you can see we've got things that, that work well, both for the fall and, you know, as we start transitioning, you know, fall as it gets colder, uh, things that the kids can layer on. That's also really important. You Absolutely. start the sweater in the morning, the t-shirt in the afternoon, because anyone that lives in Albuquerque, you know, the, the variance in temperature. So you guys have everything. You also have a variety of sizes. 
Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah, we keep size four or five, you know, mm -hmm. for those kinder kids, mm -hmm. um, all the way through size 52 in waist mm -hmm. um, and three and four X in the upper body. Mm -hmm. So um, kids come in all sizes. I don't care how old they are. They yep. come in all sizes um, mm -hmm. all the way through adult. So we keep a wide range of sizes and styles. As you can see yeah. from the clothes, it's not just a t-shirt and pants or whatever. We keep skirts for the girls and the whole bit. Yeah, that's fantastic. And you also, again, want to stress K through 12. K through 12, absolutely. Kids all the way in school. Through. Beginning to end, you guys cover all of them. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Well, folks, for more information on the fashion show going on this weekend, if you can't make it out to the fashion show at the JCC and you still want to help, head over to Casa.com. We will have links to locker number 505 under the Casa blog. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you us. for having us. Yeah, absolutely. It. Best of luck with the show this weekend. We'll be right back, folks.